What is up everybody? I'm No Lux Given back with some more backpack battles and spoiler alert, if you did not watch the last episode, I got 10 trophies in my second game. So I'm going to continue and move into survival mode where I believe, so yeah, I've got to survive five rounds and I've got four tries to do it. It seems like I should be able to survive a few rounds here. We'll see how this all works out. I kind of am interested in tossing the fanfare and picking up another flute. In order to get gold to purchase things, I will have to sell some of these things that just came into my possession here. I do have medium stamina. Oh, these are claws again. I did not realize these were claws. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I got a whole new build now. Oh, I got a whole new build. It's called the Cupid Shuffle. Those rubies will still combine, but I kind of want to use the whetstone on both of these claws. Now my stamina usage is high. But can this get me more stamina? No, not really. I think I'm done with the flute, though. Oh, wait. Oh, or remove one stamina from the opponent. Yeah, that's not super exciting. Let's let's toss that. Oh, I'm going to need to toss something else here, too. I don't hate the flawed emerald, actually. And gloves of haste. We combine the gloves with a horn to get this stuff. I'm going to sell out of this piggy bank, pick up another flute. Okay, this is fully online and this is fully online. That is beautiful. Double flouted here. That is looking good. The claws are making my stamina go to high, which is a little bit spooky. And I don't think I have any use for this. Stamina costs 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That's not that much more. This will be fine. Oh, uh, the whip, it's the whip that's really... Oh, wait, no, that's one per second and 0.3 per second. Then where's my stamina coming from? Why did my stamina go too high for medium? Unless medium or unless high isn't actually that big of a deal. I don't know. Seems good to me. I want to buy this flawed emerald and put another emerald on the vampiric armor. So let's just get rid of the sword here. And I think the purse is godly because having a one-slotted thing just gives you a lot of maneuverability. Like, I can put this absolutely anywhere. And then I will just throw in some gems. Um, and do gems have cooldown? Some of them do. Backpack after six seconds. Yes. Um, backpack cleanse a debuff. Yes. Rest of this seems fine. I don't need the Gloves of Haste, but I'm not going to do anything for it. And now, when you are out of stamina, consume this and regen two stamina and grant one empower. Okay, this is beautiful. I actually need to get this thing in. So how are we going to do that? And how much does it cost? Six, so I've got exactly enough to buy it. And consume this and regenerate two stamina after being consumed, also applies the effect of the starred potion. So I want to... I want to use this multiple times. And I think this does that. So now when I drink the health potion, I also re-drink the heroic potion. And despite this ordering looking a little bit awkward from here... Uh, we can get the present in and then pop this emerald right here. I definitely want the greater gemstones in the back, in the, um, this thing. And I'm kind of not sure about the banana in terms of just how much space it's taking up in the... So here's what I'm thinking. Let's put these here. No, oh, no, 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 no. 
I did like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Right. We're putting the banana back here, but we're going to prop up the banana with these protective purses. So that way the banana still gets touched by the poison ivy. Yeah, that seems pretty great. This goes back here, and now these gemstones get to go in a fanny pack as well. And I think that's about as good as we can draw it up. So if this isn't enough, that's a shame. My opponent's got a big cooking pot here. We are giving them a decent amount of poison. And I don't know. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. My stamina is staying relatively on pace. And oh yeah, we crushed it. We crushed it. We're still at 200 health. We have to survive four more rounds. And I don't know if there will be even more after all of this, but I feel like I could take it. Um, oh, I didn't even realize these things were in a potion rack. That's hilarious. So what does the potion rack do? It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, might even look for more potions. Regular Amnethyst. No... But I could maybe start to build up that. Oh, and then there's these two guys. Do these two want to be friends? Maybe. Got the regular ruby. I mean, this is just beautiful. I absolutely love that. It's like so slow to build up some of these gems, you know? Oh, I got some more space right here. And I've got another fanny pack. So I can actually... Put these blue ones in this fanny pack. Um, I do probably want to... Oh, I don't like this potion, though. Yeah, I don't really have any interest in this potion, I don't think. Scares me. Scares me. So I'm not going to worry about it. Bloody dagger, though. No stamina. Probably want to fit that in, huh? Can't really easily fit it in on the board other than... Yeah, I guess I could take these and, like, throw them on stuff. Sure. Yeah, that's all fine. And then I'll just throw this bloody dagger right here. Um... Oh, this wants to be next to my... Wants to be next to my armor. I think I could probably make that work. Banana here. Sure. I don't think I want to use this Pestilence Flask. And I'm basically out of money after that, so let's get back into it. This might be, like, I don't want to make this, like, a super short video. Oh, double poison goober. They're missing. I'm resisting. They don't have any poison on them yet. Okay, here's the poison, but I think they're healing off this poison really easily. Yeah, cleanse the poison. And that's a huge part of my comp, but it looks like it doesn't matter. I'm just crushing it. I don't really understand everything that's happening in this game. But I'm, I'm kicking some butt here, at the very least. All right, another potion is good. I think I am going to want to fill up the present with... Potions. I don't have any interest in this, nor this. We did combine some of my jams. We can combine a little bit more. Just throw that there. Um, I do think that I'm going to want to play a full suite of potions. And I might even be interested in, like, re-rolling to get more potions in this. Oh, wait, banana? What's happening here? Stro I can put banana in the, in the potion and it's going to get stronger. I don't know why that didn't trigger last turn, but I guess I'll do that. Uh, sure, why not? This isn't that great for me. One, two, three. I only need three more slots, so it's kind of a waste of gold. 
Oh, this has got this is a staff with a mana ball on it. That's kind of cool. So what does it do? Use three mana to deal stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that. Can throw these boots in. Don't really care about that either. Let's just roll to kick things off. Well, this is a clear purchase. I do kind of feel like I should play a fourth potion. That's basically what I'm rolling for right now is potion number four. Uh, let's sell out of the bow and this. Buy this, buy a ruby. And let's roll another flute. I mean, this could potentially be crazy. I don't know if it's even good. Oops. Yeah, I'm just looking like, how well is it set up that I wouldn't have to move around a bunch of things? Because that would kind of be annoying. What's the answer? Eh, it's okay. It's on sale. Let's just buy that. Roll. What does the horn work with again? Okay, and then another health potion. This is a lot of health potions. I actually feel like I could do better than a health potion at this point. But I will buy one more purse. I'm never going to use another gloves. Let's roll again. Flawed Amethyst. Did we f see something that worked well with Carrot? Mm, I don't see it anymore. Oh, rerolling now costs two gold. It's a premium because I've rolled so many times. I think it's still worth it to keep on rolling, though. What am I looking for again? I totally forgot. Oh, just any more reasonable potion. Yeah. I don't hate the flawed emerald. I think I'm gonna... I don't think I care about this thing. This can just slot in fine. So I guess I'll put it in there. No real... Oh, but the present gives five random buffs too. No, that's really good. Yeah, I want the present back in. That will still be close enough? No, they're not close enough. Now they are. Okay. What does this do? On weapon, remove a random buff. Sure. The cooldown's every three seconds, but that's still probably fine. Then I'm just trying to get this present in here. I can play it here. I think that seems like a pretty reasonable use. And then this one has to go here. This one can go on a weapon, though. My other heal... I actually do have a decent amount of healing at this point, so maybe I will just amplify healing. And we're good to go. Looking for one more potion for next turn, but for this turn, just playing three potions might be all right. And... I don't really know what they're doing. They got a heart container. Yeah, they're staying high on health and they are getting some shreds in there, but we got the poison and they don't seem to be removing the poison. And now they're out of heroic potion. So I think we might be able to mount a comeback pretty soon. We consume our heroic potion there and yeah, that's it. Okay, two more rounds. So I just realized my camera is frozen again. I'm gonna try to fix that, but it feels like I can't mathematically lose here, right? Am I wrong? All right, I might have to do it cameraless here if I'm not able to fix this 
I'll give it one more try. Oh, I got a gooby. I got a carrot gooby. So here's what I'm curious about. All right, I got to take the camera off the screen here real quick. Pardon me. Um, so I got this carrot goobert. Will that unlock the carrot goobert recipe? No. Okay, so I have to actually make it. There we go. There's my strong heroic potion. Heroic potion plus banana. Region four stamina. That's crazy good. How can I lose? Here's a flawless sapphire. And a bunch of other stuff. Um, definitely combining these rubies. So I might as well cut a few purses and eh, it's not really might as well because these other things are still flexible. Don't really think I've got a use for many of these things. The pig is just there. Oh, the pig. You don't gain the pig gold if you have the present. Well, as much as I like these pigs, I think that the present, the five random buffs that I'm gaining from the present at the start of each fight might actually be pretty important. Throw another stone in here. So I think I'm looking to sell out of my piggy banks, which will also probably let me play a third flute. Put it there so it sees that stuff. Yeah, this is fine enough. I mean, a third flute is still an upgrade, right? Items gain... Crit chance for each luck. Start of battle, gain two regen. These are all fine things, but I'd really love another potion. Might as well just take the... Actually, might as well just take this, huh? Move things around a little bit, which is awkward. But I might as well sell this and then just throw this fanny pack in here. No downside to that. Get rid of this leather bag at this point. And I would love one more potion. Nope, nope, nope. Um, you know, I'll start breaking open these piggy banks now. That's not the potion that I want, though. There we go. Another heroic potion. Cost me six. What does this thing do? Oh, it is nature. Cleanse three random debuffs. Uh, I mean, this thing's actually pretty cool. You just have to throw it somewhere where it's going to activate against a bunch of other things. And I might just be getting rid of the present. Are these items? Yeah, they are. So basically, you can just surround a gooby in a bunch of gems. And it does a pretty good job of doing what it needs to do. What's it going to do? Cleanse three random debuffs and gain. So you want to activate this sooner. You don't want to put this behind a bunch of health potions. That's for sure. Got to figure out what of these I'm selling, though. Did this have... A what is this even on right now? Nothing? Oh, it was supposed to be on this shield. Huh! <laughs> okay. 
So I've not been using the Lucky Pig this entire time. And Lucky Pig has nothing to do with the flute. These are intentionally next to each other. I feel like this Carrot Goober wants to get in, wants to get in the battle. It's a lot, though. So this might be... This might be a time where I pause the video and figure out how to get this Carrot Goober in there. Oh, but man, have we got a puzzle in our hands. And honestly, I don't feel like I need to solve this puzzle unless I am losing fights. The helm is actually good if... So I did look at the wiki and I saw that there's like different types of stones. So that could be a good use for the helm. But otherwise the helm is not super important. And I'm a little bit fearful to sell the present. Because the present might actually be what's keeping me alive in all of these fights. Secretly. So I kind of don't want to break up the present and I kind of want to put that back in. And, yeah, we'll combine all these things, because why not? Then I could just sell the Carrot Goobert, which allows me to buy another potion. That seems really good. I'm potentially even leaving some stats on the table by not using this potion belt. And maybe with four potions, there is a way to utilize a third potion belt in like a slightly more optimal way. Oh, and I should be playing this. This is basically free, huh? Because I can... I can just like do that or something. How is green on other sockets? Yeah, resisting poison. That seems beautiful. Let's actually do it like this. And I guess we'll do that. I'm just leaving myself a little bit blueless. Oh, I can throw this here. Okay, great. That's everything, and I'm ready to battle. So I will hit battle one more time. I've got one of each type of sapphire. They got a lot of luck on their side and a lot of food with the Yadrassel leaf. But I'm poisoning them pretty big. Plus they got the pineapple to give themselves even more. Or no, that gives them spikes, which I then convert to poison. I think the flutes are doing a good job. Oh wait, I'm dead. I'm dead. Dang. Okay, well maybe I don't want to get too cocky, but let's see. Did this increase? Yeah, this now says survive one round. So I kind of feel like I'm okay Cap of Discomfort. Start of battle, reduce damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds. Opponent gains buff, 20 or 15% chance to nullify it. But then their healing is reduced. Uh, I don't, I don't care. Sure, that seems fine and fun. Um, yeah, here is where now, like, I could maybe get another health potion in on the action. But it seems like a lot of work. And I think all I have to do is not lose. And I win. Is there any reason not to just take this and throw it in an empty slot? I don't think so. Oh, one additional stamina. This is good to have in there too. So how do we do that? Can you get rid of your... Oh no, but you don't want to. Hold on, what does this do? I never even read this. Add six backpack slots, of course. Items inside gain 10% critical hit. 
Oh, no, no, no. I had no idea. Okay, well, that is definitely worth moving some stuff around for. I apologize, Ranger Bag. I hardly knew ye. Okay, this is this is going to get a little messy now. Um <laughs> Yeah, there's no way around this. I just want to change the bags underneath. But there's like no good way to do this without breaking everything else up first. Yeah, I need this here. I'm just going to try to, like, put everything back from memory while putting the gloves in a more favorable position for me. I think that was about right there. While I'm at it, can I get this in? Maybe. That looks beautiful. I cut three purses and I got in another stamina sack. That seems pretty ideal here then. Um, is there a way to do this a little bit better? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so this is now a really good bag. Now I just have to try to put everything back the way it was moments ago. Oops. Is this piece of coal still good on here? Yeah. Uh, I'm using all of these, so I'm just going to sell these to get them out of the way. <laughs> get rid of that stinky protective purse. We'll combine these emeralds into a flawless emerald. I believe this is how I want this. Yeah, now all three of my weapons are in there. All of my rubies are on the claws to make those go a little bit faster. Get this stuff in here. I did move the other potion thing closer to this. But utilizing that might be impossible. Yeah, because I think I want to get this uh, present still in here. Where does this now... It now pours upwards above it. Hmm. Something like this might still be reasonable. Get rid of that stinky. At some point I could put both of the wet stones in this position, but I think that was like messing up the, um, messing up that thing. This goes here. And was this just stones and stuff? Oh, where's my leaf? Yeah, that looks good. And I think I'm going to put the blood amulet up here because that seems like a good final thing to have on the board. Now I'm building up into a big sapphire. And then I will get rid of this by a blood amulet. And I think this is pretty solid. All right, let's run it. I'm not using my library card. 
And I probably could have if I just put some things on this helmet. I could have got the library card in as well. This opponent looks crazy strong. They've got a baby dragon, or at least two different types of dragons. Ruby Whelp, Ruby Chonk. Yeah, I'm not getting past that. Plus, they got some really strong armor. Well, this would be crazy if I just... Wait, no, but I think I've survived. Because, yeah, I did not die. So that's all I had to do. So I didn't get the max trophies, but I survived a full run. And I think that's it. Right, okay, kind of forgot about what the goal was at certain parts there. That my goal was just to survive. So I guess it was good not to play my library card on the very last turn because I wasn't going to go into the shop again, but I still liked playing the present because it gave me five random buffs at the start of the game. Either way, I think that was a pretty good run. Broke it up into two videos just because it seemed like a lot. Maybe I won't break it up into two videos. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I did want to get it finished. I, I brought up uh, on a, a random Discord, I was like, am I going to be able to pause this game and resume it at a later time? And they brought up, yeah, but you might want to finish it before Backpack Battles releases because there's going to be some new items and that could like break an older version of the game or something. So wanted to make sure that I at least got this done. My thoughts on the game so far is that it's fun but it is kind of closer to Super Auto Pets than it is to Storybook Brawl in my mind. Because of the, and it's not just the asynchronous play, because I don't mind asynchronous play, but I think I do mind lobbyless play. The fact that you are not building against specific people makes your opponents feel kind of random and kind of impossible to care about in some ways uh, and meaningfully have interaction against them. Like, if I had noticed that my opponent was building the Dragon Whelp, then maybe I would need to build towards something that was specifically really good for the Dragon Well, but either way, I think it's a pretty good result to win a survival mode on my first time. I don't know like what I get for that. I'm just like stockpiling trophies. And I guess maybe the wardrobe has things purchasable for trophies. 100 trophies, 100, yeah. Okay, so lots of trophies needed, but that does give you some things to try to progress towards. So she's got some Halloween outfits, potentially some uh, Wizard of Oz kind of thing, or just, or just nothing. And uh, yeah, I like the Santa. I don't know what this orange is doing. Oh, here. Here's the different outfits, right. Yeah, I don't know what this orange means. Oh, and then you can change your backpack, of course. Um, all right. So are there any other thoughts that I feel like I need to share? Um, not really. I don't. I just wanted to say I don't think that this game is like as replayable as something like Storybook Brawl. Because what are the goals? You can try to rank up, and there is a ranked queue. But I'm not really trying to be like the best in the world at something ever, even at Storybook Brawl. Storybook Brawl, I could kind of like play it and there were like new things to explore. And there's definitely like, I mean, I could see like, okay, you want to get all the recipes. You want to try to play like a Gooby strategy. You want to try to do stuff. And I think that's probably where I'm going to land for it, that I want to try the different types of builds. Is that going to be worth the price tag? Maybe once they start adding more classes. And I think that one thing that will be pretty telling, I kind of get the impression with a game like this, just because they've been so open in allowing hu this hugely... There, there's a lot of content in the demo, right? I'm getting the impression that there's not going to be DLC for this game every six months, but rather... You pay $13, and when they come out with a new update, you also get that. Could be wrong, but that's just kind of the impression that I'm getting as like an outsider from the community. 
totally unfounded. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments down below because that could possibly impact the purchase or not purchase for some people. Like I said, it is on a little bit of a sale the first week that it's out. Not sponsored content, by the way. Just figured my audience might be interested in knowing this. But for today, that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm no Lex Given. Peace.